Hey everybody, welcome back. Just a couple final additions to my Florenza final thoughts. Some errata, uh, some 2.0 stuff. Just a couple quick things. First of all, for folks who've watched my final thoughts and noticed that I spent quite a bit of time talking about how just how, you know, mean and, um, and, and attacky Florenza can be, considering that it's hard. It's a very good, solid, you know, you know goods conversion, goods collection, Euro style game. It just happens to have a lot of, uh, you know, punch your opponent in the face. And it really kind of struck me in Jen the wrong way because we're peaceniks. Turns out I had something wrong, and I figure it's worth mentioning. The designers have released another official variant. In addition to the one I mentioned, the No Dice variant, they have another official variant that I didn't know about at the time that I filmed, which is specifically if you are playing a two-player game in a situation where one player controls both the captain and the bishop, and so in, in, in when Jen and I played it, we thought, hey, when that happens, uh, that player gets to do a double whammy on the other one, and that's you know, and it can, it can be quite debilitating. It turns out with this official variant, let's see, I, mean, I, I got open it up right here. Um, in the not rare event that a single player holding both the captain of the people and the bishop tiles, the captain of the people may only choose the reserve and artist to um, just to avoid to, to reduce other player workers. But well, okay, it's a very poorly uh, written translation from Italian to English. But the important thing is, in a two-player game, if you have both of them, the captain can only reserve artists. He cannot steal workers from the other player. In addition to all the other stuff they can do. So. I wish I'd known that at the time because that definitely softens the game quite a bit in two player. Whereas before, Jen and I found it just a little bit too harsh. So that's really kind of interesting. Just wanted to get that out there. The, very, very important to add. But now, the real reason I'm recording this. I also mentioned in my final thoughts and throughout that Florenza is a very, very hard game to get a hold of. It regularly goes for over a hundred bucks if you try to buy a used copy or you know a new copy you know on eBay or something like that, because it's been out of print so long and it didn't have a big print run. Well, if you want Florenza but you did not want to pay through the nose to get it, you're in luck. It is now there is a Kickstarter campaign running right now for about another 20 days. Just go on to Kickstarter and do a search for Florenza, or you can uh, look in the show notes. There's a link. You can. Can now get a copy because it's finally getting a second big proper print run. So if you've been wanting to get a copy and it hasn't, you know, fallen into your lap yet, now is your chance. Just wanted to let everybody out there know in case they had seen my run through, thought it looked good for them, and were just bummed they couldn't get it. You can get it now. Okay, folks, that's it. Uh, final thoughts, part two, at a close. Um, as always, questions, comments, concerns, let me know. But otherwise, have a very nice day. Ciao, bella. Bye bye.